So are we going to Manhattan tonight? Okay, so there's this cute guy I met on a shoot who I'm kind of trying to fuck. He is either fucking dumb as hell or he fucking blew his brains out on acid. Either way, it does not matter because he invited me to a party in Bedside tonight and we are going. The last time we went to one of your fancy fashion parties, I got my fake taken. Well, they're not gonna card, so. That's what she said last time. Besides, I told you, Fred's here for that art opening tonight. I thought that was a joke. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? So there's this really cute guy in my life drawing class, and he's going to this gallery's opening tonight, and a bunch of people from the studio are going, and he was like, we should totally get together later. We should totally get together and fuck on the Chinatown bus. <laughs> I would never do that. I feel like you'd do it if he asked, like, maybe once, and really nicely. Thank <laughs> you. Know. Well, I'm not going to Manhattan anyway. Are you serious? None of the trains are working. Okay, wait, but I do know of one party. It's not gonna be amazing, but it is like a grad party. There will be alcohol. Um, let's call Fred and go. Okay. Sure. Hey, hey you. Anderson. Wait, come, out. come hang with us, please. Oh, Anderson, let's We want to braid your party. hair. He's 30 years old, like, get over it, bro. You guys. <laughs> Whatever. He's being a baby. Stop. Thanks. Like, I just want to hang out. Stop. Stop. <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> so, is that them? Yeah, that's Fred. He's one of the glasses. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Hey, hey, what's, what's up? up? Okay. <laughs> uh, Kayla? Oh, my bad. Uh, this is Fred. Fred. This is Gabby, Riley. Hey. We went to high school together. Hey, what's up? We didn't want to go inside before we guys got here, so. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I don't know them either. Riley does. Yeah, they're just like some random people from school. Can I have a mistake? Yeah, for sure. You want one? No, nah, I'm good. Riley doesn't smoke. Hmm. Word, that's very commendable. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't smoke either. I mean, smoking's bad for you. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Wait, so you're from Philly too? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to school here studying philosophy. That's cool. Yeah. She's also super yeah. smart. I'm really little not. <laughs> I'm really not, no. It's cool that you go to school here. I'm super jealous. Yeah, yeah, it's been, a, it's been like a good experience so far. Um, can I have a sip of that? Do you have like more yeah. of them? Okay, cool. Thank you. So are you also a sophomore? No, Riley's really old. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to graduate in like, in like a week, actually. Holy shit. Yeah. Are you scared? Like, absolutely terrified. So you're not from Philly? Uh, yeah, no, I'm from Lancaster, it's, uh... I know where that is. Riley and I went there and we dressed up in these colonial dresses and we took pictures turning butter. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah? Are you Amish? 
Because I don't think you're allowed to have sex with your aunt. Katie, stop it! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not Amish. Obviously. Have you ever seen an Amish Asian? <laughs> Asian Amish. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get another beer. Do you want anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Katie? Yo, I came. Oh yeah, what's up? Yeah, I just need to get in here. I just saw some friends of yours a second ago. Oh yeah? Yeah. They're pretty funny. They showed me this dance you came up with in high school. Uh-huh. Oh my god, stop! No, they're so ridiculous. <laughs> So who's that guy you're with? Um, his name is Leo. Uh, I just, he's from Philly. Are you like dating? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just met him, so, but he's really cool. Thanks. Are you okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. I just realized something. Mm. Everyone in movies dies the same way. They're like, <gasps> but in reality, they're just still. They just die. Do you want to like, um... Uh, yeah, sure, I just... Yeah, um, I can like use my tongue. I mean, <laughs> I mean like I can, I can like use my mouth. Like I can, I can like give you a blowjob. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, you don't have to. No, 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 it's cool. I, I like, I like one too, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm like on the pill, so. Yeah, but I just want to be safe, you know? Yeah. So, uh, what are you gonna do after? I don't know. I was going to move to Seattle. Um, that's not really happening anymore. And I thought, haven't thought of anything cooler to do. Why Seattle? Um, my ex is from there, and his parents were there, and he wanted to be close to them. How long are you guys together? Uh, since freshman year, so like more than three years. Yeah. Wow. That's so unimaginable to me. Well, like how long we were together for? Yeah. Yeah, well, um... I had a boyfriend for most of high school too, so I guess I'm just very relationshipy. I don't know. It sounds so intense to me. Yeah, but I don't know. It's better than what I'm doing now, which is like not much of anything. <laughs> what happened to you guys? Um. So I. I like, cheated on him with this like, this like really hot male model. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, um, no, no, no. The truth is, is that I actually he cheated on me. He like he like left left me. Is this weird to talk about? No. I'm I mean, I don't care. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I, yeah, I can tell you it happened. Um, yeah, so I... We were in our senior year, um, first semester, and he took this finance class. 
I guess he wanted to do something practical because he was a comparative literature major and um, at the beginning it was just like this weird inside joke we had that he was turning into this like alt-right frat guy. Um, but I don't know, he starts getting really into it. He's like talking about like the stocks and the Dow and going to these like lectures and readings and I don't know, it was so weird because I just never saw him in this like world. And he starts hanging out more and more with this one girl. And I don't know, maybe in retrospect, I felt uncomfortable, but in the moment, I don't remember feeling anything but fine. And then, and then one day he's like, Riley, I, I, I just don't, I, I don't. I mean, you don't have to talk about it. No, 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 um, no, the thing is I do, because it's like the story that's still interesting to me because I can't quite make sense of it. Um, but he said, Riley, I met this other girl. And I, I swear to you, nothing's happened yet, but I think something will. I think I need to pursue it. I mean, what do you say to that? And then that was it. What an asshole. <laughs> I mean, yeah, duh. But I don't even completely blame him. Because this girl's gonna make so much fucking money. And she like goes on runs and like plants trees for the community. And I don't know, I have like nothing going on post-grad. Like I'm even getting kicked out of this fucking apartment. And <sighs> I don't know. Now I'm thinking I just need to get out of here. Maybe I'll be lame and move back to Philly. That'd be cool. Yeah, it feels like so sad to move back home though. You get your own apartment. Yeah, that's true. I guess I hadn't thought about that. I mean, it's no New York, but there's a lot of cool shit going on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I mean, like my family's there and Gabby and Michaela and you. That's true. I'll be there. Sorry I had to dip early. I had to catch a bus back. No worries. When are you going to be back in NYC? Lol, I don't know. Probably not for a while. I've got mad work. Okay, do you see that? Yeah. That like V-shape her stomach is making? It's because she got her ribs removed. I mean... It's like what everyone's doing now. I feel like she might just work out a lot. No, I'm telling you, it's physically impossible to have a body like that. Riley, do you know Tasha? Uh, yeah, I met her like once at a party. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Wait, Mama. Mm-hmm. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. I I have that yeast infection again. It just came back. Yeah, it's really bad. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess because I'm stressed or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Could you, I try to get an appointment, but. They're really full. Can you write me a prescription for that, that cream, that steroid cream again? Mm-hmm. No, I know, okay? Please, can you just do it? It's, like, really bad. Yeah, just for the pharmacy of the university hospital. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Hi. Sorry. Sorry. 
Beautiful. What? Is, um, <laughs> I just wanted to have like the world's worst yeast infection. Yeah, I can smell that from here. Yeah, fuck you. Because you eat too much bread. Literally, what? <laughs> it's all that yeast. Okay, I know what you're thinking, and it's not the same kind of yeast. Yes, it is. There is a woman at MIT who is literally making yogurt with vagina yeast. Okay, I read that same article, and it's not the yeast. It's like, like the cultures or whatever. Hmm. Would you eat it? Uh, vagina yogurt? I don't know. Maybe if you didn't tell me beforehand. What? I don't know, actually. It's like, it's like the cultures, right? Yeah. Like, how big are they? I think they're like really small. Like they're pretty much like unseeable. I saw David today. Did you say anything? Nah. We just ignored each other. Or maybe I just saw him and he didn't even see me. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Like it's like what you expect, right? Mm. I'm sorry, someone's texting me. What's up? Hmm? Who are you texting? Um, this is guy Tom Wachowski. He's in my philosophy cohort. Do you know him? Wachowski. Yeah. He kind of wants to like hang out if you're down. Mm, depends on where. Bed style? <laughs> no. No, that's too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'm starting to get kind of... Okay, what if we just met in the middle? Why does everyone always say that? It's more inconvenient for both people. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. You right. So, where do you want to get food? I don't know. The bar he's at has food. Riley, who even tries to fuck someone at the end of their last semester? That's like beyond desperate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're just both really bored or something. I don't know. Hey. So what you're saying is that Asians shouldn't be considered for affirmative action. I mean, I guess I've been skirting around it. Uh, skirting a bit. around it. I'm just saying that I think they've been afforded a lot of opportunities already. Opportunities? To do what? Be in internment camps and build railroads? Oh, don't bring up stuff that happened like a hundred years ago to a tiny Don't bring up literal history and generational trauma. You know what I mean. No, I don't, so why don't you tell me? In our society... Okay, so if an immigrant comes here and has to work super hard at, like, a fast food restaurant and his kid has to learn English, they should be denied the benefit of affirmative okay. action? Like, that's, they haven't already given up enough? That's such a niche example. It happens all the time. Yeah, but there are white people, poor white people, in literally the exact same socioeconomic situation. Everyone always wants to bring up white people. We have to work people. hard to and overcome... Yeah, because if you do, it weakens your argument. Whereas if you don't, it lacks inclusivity. White people are already included. Oh, shit, sure, you okay? Oh. Hey, you wanna go home? Oh. I can take her home. No, no, guys. It's, like, <coughs> like, totally chill. Um, I am just, I'm just gonna use the bathroom really quick if you wanna just, like, scooch out. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the bathroom and I'll be right back. Like, seriously, yeah. Hey, hey, where's Tom? Told him to go home. Well, why? Because you need to go home. I need to go home. We need to go home. Um, I still have to pay, though. I already did. Why, Katie? I'll request you tomorrow. Thank you, you're the best.
Hey, Yo. how's it going? I'm like <laughs> so fucking hungover. How are you? Finally finished. Wait, what's today's date? The fourth. Give me that. What did you write about? I wrote about the uh, principle of bivalence. You comparing picked the hardest the... fucking prompt. Hey, Fuck you, man. It's not the hardest prompt. It does have the most sources. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? Seriously. No. Oh, I'm so screwed. You've still got a few hours. So? Yeah, I have like my intro and conclusion done. Yeah, you still got time. Oh, I heard you the first time. So? Have you heard of this cool thing called Adderall? Hey, can you Venmo me when you get the chance? Also, I accidentally gave you a 25 milligram pill, so it might be a little strong, just FYI. Hey, Riley. Oh, oh my god, hey, what's up? Oh, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine. I'm sort of hoping you'd come by. Oh, yeah? Do you have a minute to chat? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Do you want to go into my office? Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Have a seat wherever. Do you want water or anything? Like gross cured coffee? No, I'm good, thanks. Are you sure? It's no mm -hmm. trouble. No, I'm, I'm really good. Thanks. I don't know why it's so hot in here all the time. Makes me feel like I'm having heat flashes 24-7. It sucks. Yeah. Um, it's okay. So, uh... I just, this is sort of difficult to talk about, but I'm a little worried. I just read your last paper and because it was late and because of the quality, I had to give you a failing grade. Oh, um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I didn't think my argument was amazing, but. Uh, well, to be honest, it seemed like you used more of the spark notes in finding the actual nuances in the essays. I, oh, I read the essays. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I, w I definitely wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I believe you, and I know. I know you've had a tough semester, but at the moment you're barely passing. I'm worried. Okay. What will happen if I, I don't pass? Well, you'll have to take the course for credit over the summer, which I teach at the Brooklyn campus. Um, can I still walk? Uh, excuse me? Like, like, will I be able to walk at graduation? My, my parents are gonna be like really upset if I can't do that. Uh, well, I think that's something to discuss with your academic advisor. But uh, what I'm more concerned about is the fact that you don't seem passionate about this material. I remember you as a freshman. You were so vibrant and talkative. And I, I, I just hate to see the stupid adult stuff beat you down. I'm not, I'm not beaten down. Right, of course, that was a poor choice of words. What I like, mean is that, Sorry, I, I mean, I just, I turned in my essay, right, and I think it's, it's pretty good. I mean, maybe not great, but I think it's good enough to pass. Okay. Yeah. I look forward to reading it then. So, to change the subject, um, what's post-grad looking like? Ha. Huh. What? Um, I guess just the way you, you were talking about it made it seem like this, like, exciting prospect. Well, I mean, did you apply to any of the fellowships or the post-grad programs I posted to the listserv? I remember you were talking about applying to that fellowship in Denver? Yeah, um, I, I was going to apply, but then, short answer for all of that, I didn't, I, w I was going to apply, but I, I did not. Uh, well, there's always next year. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so I actually have a seminar like starting like right now, so I, I have to get going. I'm sorry, I'm just in a rush. Can we continue this discussion sometime, Riley? When you have more time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah, no, I'll see you in class. Okay, bye. bye.
I love that painting you posted. It's super cool. Sorry, I just saw this. Thanks. Yeah, it turned out super cool. Yeah, it's awesome. How are you doing? So we don't handle graduation tickets. That's this guy, Marty Doyer. D is in dog. O, Y, E, R. Yeah, exactly. So you need to email him about getting more tickets. His email is m.doyer. Not a problem. You as well. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're so dumb. <laughs> I'm so bored. Same. I will do any job after I graduate, as long as it doesn't involve looking at Gmail for the entire day. That's any job we're ever gonna get. Do you wanna get boba after work? I mean, sure. Since when do you like boba? Um, I don't really know if I do, but I see every other Asian around campus drinking it, and I feel kind of excluded. It's really bad for you. How is that even possible? I had a dentist who was Chinese, and you could literally tell when any of his patients had too much bubble tea. Because it would literally, like, rip out their molars. That sticky stuff. What, the tapioca? Yeah. Maybe not then. I just remembered. My brother and I used to call him Dr. Wonton. What? My brother and I used to call that dentist Dr. Wonton. I was trying to remember his real name and I couldn't. Why do you think you called him that? I don't know. I guess because he was Chinese. today yeah yeah the boss has let me edit from here our side of the office is getting a new coat of paint today hell yeah for telecommuting <laughs> oh yeah are you guys still working on that thing about the colton bushwick no i uh, just got picture lock on that and uh moving on to the future of weed lubes nice yeah Hey, I think we should talk. Yeah, what's up? Um, I've been trying to think of the right way to bring this up, but I... Yeah, what's going on? I just need to come out and say it. Okay, so say it. Okay, um, I would appreciate it if you weren't just, like, around in your underwear anymore. Wait, what? I know we said nothing would change after we, you know. Had sex. Yeah. Yeah? But I guess it's kind of confusing for me now because it, look, I don't know. It's just confusing. It feels like maybe you want to have something happen again. What about me? Like, slumped over after not showering equals I'm trying to fuck you again. Not necessarily. Okay, but like, I didn't even know you were home today, right? Yeah, I'm not talking about right now. It's like, other times. What other times? Like, all the time. Like, when you're going to the bathroom. Okay, and... but like, why are you looking at me like that then? I don't want to make this a big deal. I've... I was just thinking to myself, like, what if I have a girl over? And she sees you all around the apartment, in your underwear. It's, it's not the most ideal image. What girl? 
a hypothetical girl, a, a woman? Sure. Think about it. She just sees you, like, laying around in your underwear and you're all cool and casual about it. Like, hey, I'm Riley. I'm Anderson's roommate. She'd probably be like, who's that girl? You know? Yeah. I, I guess. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Um, so you want me to put on pants, like... Like this instant? Yeah, that'd be preferable. Excuse me. You must like, like really like think a lot about yourself. Excuse me? You think that because we had sex one time that I'm now in love with you, and everything I do is an attempt to, like, 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 woo you. I don't think that. You obviously think you're hot shit if you see me in my two-year-old sagging, like, granny panties that my grandpa literally bought me from China, and you're like, wow, Riley is so horny for me. I literally didn't say any of that. But that is what you're implying! You're really blowing this out of proportion. No, I I'm not! God, like... I knew you wanted to sleep with me before you, Dave and I even broke up, and I was just doing you like some fucked up wish fulfillment. And now you're like, like actually delusional. Actually delusional. You're really, that's really, you, you, you are such a, a, Such a what? This is your last month. Wait, what? You heard me. You gotta move out. I, I can't live with you anymore. You're such a, a millennial. You are kicking me out because I'm a millennial? No, I'm kicking you out because of your energy and, and your constant partying and thinking nothing like has any consequences. You treat everything as if it's disposable. You make me feel disposable. No, I mean, like, I, obvious, I obviously don't, like, actually, like, think you're disposable. Like, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I was just... I just said that, like, out of anger. Yeah, but that's the problem. I mean, you just lashed out at me. And honestly, like, I let you live here because of David and... His brother and I don't work together anymore, and you two aren't even friends, so... I don't have any loyalty to you. Okay. Fine. Look, I'm sorry it had to be like this, but... But what? I don't know. I don't know how to finish that sentence. I just started it because it sounds like something people say. I'm gonna go put some pants on. Fuck out of me. That was supposed to be a little smoother. No, no. I'm good. I'm just like skittish, I guess, or something. I mean, oh, hey, what's up? Hi, I haven't seen you in forever. What are you listening to? Um, no, please don't stop. This is so embarrassing. No, That's stop. That's so degrading. Well, don't listen to it if it offends you. It should offend you. I guess I don't mind being offended. Go on. 
No, I'm good. I always forget that. You don't smoke. What are you doing out here then? You shouldn't have to smoke to take a break outside. Do you have any big summer plans after graduation? Are you going anywhere? Mm, no, I'm just moving, so packing, etc. Moving sucks. Yeah. My roommate like freaked out because I didn't become obsessed with him after we had sex like one time and he was like, get out, I can't take your energy. Damn. Yeah, I know. What are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know, like squat at Katie's parents' place on the Upper West Side or like move to Philly for a bit. I don't fucking know. Didn't someone tell me you were going to Seattle? Yeah, uh, that was when David and I were still together because his parents were from there. So. Yeah. My bad. What? No, it's yeah. fine. Don't worry about it. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought it no, up. No, seriously. It's like no big deal. I like don't care at all. Sorry. Stop apologizing. Sorry, I'm, I'm still I mean, going like, to move though. So. Yeah? Yeah. Because if I don't, I'm just like standing around waiting for real life to begin. This isn't real life. I hope it's not. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish my paper, but I will text you. Let's get coffee or something. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, bye. See ya. See ya. Yeah, I guess it just feels like every person I talk to is like, oh, I'm going to grad school, post-grad, or I'm gonna work at this online magazine, or this, I don't know, this startup, and I'm just doing like absolutely nothing. Do you have any goals post-grad? I know you've been feeling overwhelmed about graduating, but sometimes it's helpful for people to think a few years out instead of the immediate future. How old are you? I'm 22. 22. Okay, so maybe think about when you're 25. Um, do you see yourself in grad school or maybe traveling? Travel, yeah, traveling would be cool, maybe, yeah. Okay, what about your interpersonal relationships? Do you see yourself uh, fostering new friendships or maybe getting closer to your family since you've been away for such a long time? Um, I mean, all that sounds good to me, yeah. Okay. And we've talked a lot about your relationships and about how you're usually in really long relationships. Do you think that's something you want again? That type of stability and support? Maybe. Um, I don't know, is that something you can like ask the universe for though? I don't know about the universe, but if you want to, you can ask it for yourself. Um, if that's something you think you deserve, then sure, make it a goal. Okay. Uh, are you still interested in that one boy that you met, Leo? Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I don't really know what he thinks of me though. Like, we talk and then it's like I'm here, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it about him? Hmm? Well, what is it about him that makes him different? You've had a lot of different experiences and partners over the year, but nobody has seemed to make the same type of impression as he has. Mm -hmm. Do you have any feeling as to why? Um, I don't know if this is like weird to say, but I think it's because he's also half Asian. I've never been with anyone who's is half Asian before and I don't know I guess there's just like this sense of belonging like I feel like I go through a lot of weird bullshit because I'm half and it's nice being with someone who like I assume shares those same feelings and experiences yeah. that's actually really great and it makes a lot of sense <laughs> um so it looks like our time is up and it's been really great working with you, and good luck with graduation. Wait, what? Um, this is your eighth session. Wait, I thought I had one left. Um, let me check. Um, so you can see here, you've had all eight of your allotted sessions. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I know that it goes so fast, but you really have come far. I really don't feel like that at all. Um, 
can I just like text or call you maybe once or twice before graduation, just for like a few minutes to check in? Unfortunately, Riley, that's not allowed. Okay. Um, is there like a 10 minute, 10, 15 minute time block I can take? Like at any time, I'll take it. Uh, unfortunately, all the slots have been filled. We have a lot of people to see. Yeah, I know, it's just like, I don't know, you've gotten to know me and my situation really yeah. well and... And I've really enjoyed that. A lot of my friends text their therapists. But I'm not your therapist anymore. Hey, um, I just thought I, I'd call you because you said that you were going to be free around now, so, um, yeah, I, I just, I just thought I'd call. Um, I'm just gonna be home working on stuff, um, yeah. Um, I, I found your chain as well it, when I was cleaning my room, so if you were wondering where that was, it's, it's here, I have it, yeah, um, Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, give me a call back. Bye. Hey. Hey. Did you go out tonight? Yeah. I just went to this bar, like, down the way. I don't think it's lame to go to a bar by yourself, do you? No. I failed. What? <sighs> My final paper. It sucked. I have to take a summer class. Oh. Shit. Yeah, shit. Mm. I don't know how I'm gonna tell my parents. You'll figure it out. They're nice. I mean, they seemed nice when you moved in. I'm gonna ask you something. Shoot. Why do you guys like ignore girls when like after they sleep with them? Maybe because they realize they're not what they're looking for? I don't know. But what if they are? How would you know that? Um, because they had a mutual connection, like they had a mutually good time. Yeah, or he's just a dick who manipulates girls into thinking he's nice when he really just wants to fuck. Were you ever like that? Um, probably more so in college, but Seems a little heartless now, don't you think? I don't think he's heartless. I think there's, I think there's something else going on. The answer is probably simpler than you realize. That he's madly in love with me and everything he's doing is like to hide the intensity of his emotions. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like really sorry about the way I treated you, Anderson. Like that really, that really wasn't right of me. It's cool. No, it's not. Like, like you were like <laughs> such an amazing, roommate. like seriously, you're like the best roommate I've ever had. So. Well, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome.
stop, stop, come on. No, Riley, this is fucked up. All right, you're leaving at the end of the month, like that's final and I already found another roommate, so I don't know, go figure your shit out. Good night and drink some fucking water. Yo. Yeah, hey. Uh, I just wanna let you know I found like the most perfect apartment in Philly. Cute. Yeah, it's on Pashyunk. The place it's like right near where we used to do that karaoke every Wednesday. That sounds uh -huh. so cute. Yeah. Wait, come back this weekend for a party. Yeah, that sounds cool. Leo is definitely supposed to be there. Yeah, I'm totally down. Okay, cool. I'm pregaming you before with these girls from my class, but they're really cool if you wanna come Uh-huh. Yeah, can you text me the, the, the details and all? Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later. You good? Yeah, I'm gonna just go on the subway. Okay, okay, bye. bye. I thought that was you. It's the hair. I thought you didn't have class on this campus anymore. Uh, I don't. I uh, was here visiting a old professor. Uh, how's everything going? Fine, I guess. I saw um, that same guy on the Q train, the one that we saw, you know, drop the baby. He was uh, his wife on the train with the baby, and. Uh, I don't know, I think he recognized me and I was just like staring at him and I couldn't like stop laughing. It was, it's really funny. Did the baby look okay? Uh, yeah, I mean his head was a little squished <laughs> looking, but you know, still cute. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I heard you're moving out at Anderson's? Yeah, we slept together. I heard. What was your reaction? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was kind of weird to hear, I guess. Um, but like, I always sense a vibe with you guys, so you know, I wasn't like shocked. There wasn't a vibe. Okay. It just happened. Okay. Uh, listen, I wanted to tell you that I'm not going to be um, moving to Seattle anymore. What? Sure. Why? Uh, Jess got a job here. Jess. Jessica, yeah, she uh, she got a job in the city, so we're gonna be staying in the city. Why does this concern me? I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of weird if we bumped into each other in the street, and you thought that I had moved, that I hadn't moved, and I, know, I just thought I should let you know. Well, I'm not staying here, so. Where are you moving? I'm going back to Philly. I'm like getting my own apartment, though. That's cool. Yeah. I'm uh, kind of seeing this guy there, so yeah, he doesn't want to do the distance anymore. Well, that'd be good for you guys to be, to be closer together. That'd be nice. So as usual, you're making a really big deal out of nothing. <laughs> I mean, if you feel that way. Like, are you trying to rub it in my face? No, Riley, no, I wouldn't do that. I swear, <laughs> that's not what this is. Then what are you doing? I don't know. I, I still care about you. You know, I still feel love for you. I just wanted to be honest with you, I guess. Don't say that. Say what? That, like, hippy-dippy bullshit. Don't say you feel love for me. That's like some weird fucked up consolation prize. Because you have in your head that if you loved me, you wouldn't have cheated on me. But since you only Jeez. feel love for me, then you're still a good person We've somehow. talked about this like a million times. I swear nothing happened when you and I were together with Jessica. I. Oh, whatever, the emotional cheating. Like all those nights where you were like, when you were like late to come home or you wouldn't text me till morning and you were always like, Jessica and I went on a run and Jessica and I did this and Jessica told me to eat more fermented foods. And oh my God, fuck you, seriously. I can't believe that I'm out here yet again letting you waste my time. And honestly, 
even if we did see each other in the city, I'd probably walk right past you and say to whoever I was with, there's the asshole that cheated on me and the stupid bitch he's with now. Right. You know, please don't talk about her like that. It's got nothing to do with her. Okay. Listen, I just thought that if we could keep talking, we could be friends because, you know, I do miss your friendship. I, I miss you as a person. I don't. I don't miss your constant whining, complaining, and talking about how smelly the city is and how you, like, literally root through my garbage to find the recycling like some fucking weird psychopath. Uh, like, know, who even fucking does me, that? I think recycling's important. I think it's... Fuck what you. What are you doing? What? Riley, stop it. Stop it. Oh, oh my God, are you okay? Uh, yeah. are, do you need me to call somebody? Call somebody? She's just Am I talking me. to you? Seriously, I can walk you somewhere. I can get you a cab. Are you okay? <laughs> No, we're, we're, <laughs> we're really good. I'm sorry, I'm good, thank you. Okay. No, seriously, thank you. Riley, what the fuck was that? I can't believe she thought that I like needed backup. Hey, are you going to that party tonight in center? I was thinking about it. Why, what's up? I think I'll be there. We should meet up. Actually, yeah, I'll definitely be there. When do you think you'll be there? So I saw that Fred was here. Yeah. How is everything? It's good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, how was it? It was very sexy. Shit! Yeah. Fred? It was hot. Damn! Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Wait, is Leo here? Yeah, I think so. He's probably looking for you. Yeah, maybe. Let's go find him. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey. Were you, uh, were you just watching me? <laughs> what? No, what? I'm, I'm I was fucking just... with you, what's up? <laughs> um, ha, huh, I just, I just wanted to know where Leo went. Uh, yeah, it was really crowded inside, so I went to this, uh, pop-up shop. A pop-up shop? Yeah, they don't really card, so we go to the lot. Just search, uh, Kami Hero. <laughs> Oh my god, Fred. Oh my god, hey, Juliet, what's up? Um, are you supposed to be in New York? Uh, yeah, I am. I, I haven't I seen you since, like, high school. That's crazy. Um, are, is your life like a TV show now? Because I saw this picture of you where you're at this party or something, and I was like, my god, like, I knew that Riley was this cool, like, different, kind of quirky girl, but you look like a fucking celebrity. Um, like, on that roof? Was that in Brooklyn? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. And I'm just choking away at her. I'm a Comcast intern, um, and I'm also head of my sorority, which I, that was so, like, thought I'd be the head biatch, you know? Yeah, no, totally. Um, do you know this guy named Leo? Um, Leo. Sophomore Um, yeah. You know my brother Peter? Mm -hmm. He's 
friends with him, and they filmed skate videos together on this little camera. Um, which is so adorable. What? Um, we're kind of hooking up. No way. Are you serious? Oh my god. Wait, he's really cute. That's exciting. So cute! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Um, so I'm gonna go find him. Wait, tell me really quick, what are you doing after grad? Um, I'm not doing much of anything, I'm just sort of having a mental breakdown. Uh -huh. Same. Don't you love how now you can just be having a mental breakdown? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, cool. Well, I will see you later. Okay. Alright, oh, we'll take a shot with him later, okay? Okay, I will. Okay. 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 Bye! Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? Whoa, hey, what's up? Hi, how are you? Good. Hey. I've been good, just chilling, working in the studio every day on this painting. Cool. Yeah, it's been a time. Yeah. Uh, I love the Yo, chill! Uh, huh? what, what were you saying? No, yeah, I just, um, I just, I love to see it when it was done. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, it's gonna be like another month, but. Yeah, yeah, in a month, then. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go inside, okay. get another beer. Yeah. I'll see sure. you around, though, yeah? For sure. I mean, maybe tomorrow, though, we could, like, grab, grab dinner or something. Uh, I don't know. I got a shit ton of work that I should probably be doing now, honestly. So. Hey, it's, like, 2 in the morning, then. Yeah? Uh, it's kind of like an all-day thing. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um... I don't know, I'm sorry. I just thought that... Because we slept together, like... I don't know, you... You think this is more special, but maybe that's my bad. No, I mean, I mean, it was special. It was super special, like in the moment. I just feel like it wasn't significant. You know, I, I just feel like those are two different things. I don't know. I, mean, I, I just saw you as a prospect. Or, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm like super high and not really communicating properly. Um, I'm sorry. Um, Oh, no, no, it's cool, it's cool. No, you don't have to apologize. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to go. I'm gonna go back to that party that Fred was at. Yeah, no, that party was fun, so. Um, I would really like to see you again here. Yeah, I mean, just, just text me. I mean, I know I've been slow with the text. You know, honestly, I've just in class all day and I just forget to respond. Um, I don't know, I just figured I'd see you when I see you or whatever. Just, okay. Um, yeah, just, just text me. Okay, I'll text you. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Yeah, see you. Okay. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Um, I'm going to be moving to Philly soon, so. Sweet. Bye. I don't know, it just like, it just feels like he doesn't really know like what I'm doing. I just feel like an idiot, right? Okay, thank you. I just feel like I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm like here and like he said he really liked me. I didn't really understand, okay, sorry. I didn't really understand like why I wanted to be here and I was just like really, oh. oh. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Drinking. Do mom and dad know you're here? No. They think I'm sleeping over at Jenny's. They're so gullible. Don't talk about them that way. You think you're so much smarter than them, but you're not. I promise you, you're not. Why are you even here anyways? I'm moving here. Why? What am I gonna do in New York? Um, I don't know, get a job? 
but I have like no skills. So what have you been doing in college for the past four years? Thinking, I guess. I have some Coke. Do you want some Coke? Where'd you get it from? My friends gave it to me. Have you done it before? Yeah, I felt so good. Yeah? Yeah. It felt like every part of my body was exactly where it was supposed to be and doing exactly what it needed to do. So I hooked up with a really hot boy tonight. Oh yeah, what was his name? Um, I think Leo, he was mixed also. Did you see him? No, I wasn't there for that long. Really? Yeah. Um, are you sure this party is gonna be better? Yeah, who the fuck makes a pop-up shop like a death tube in the car? Hey, can you open the door? Uh, yeah. Thank Quit you! It. Is there more jungle juice around? Yeah, it's in the bathroom. Okay, just around the corner. Stop, I don't think you should drink anymore. What? Why? You're too young. Come on. I'm serious. If you keep doing that, everyone's gonna think you're like this crazy slut or something. Are you serious? Okay, maybe not like that, but people take advantage of you and think you're like a dance. What's the matter with you? Oh my god, nothing. I'm just trying to help you. Jesus. I'm gonna go find my friends. Hey, what's up? Oh, shit, hey. How's the other party? Ugh, it fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah. Is there any more in there? Oh, yeah, there's like tons. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, actually, I'll come in with you and get some more. Whoa, okay. Uh, <sighs> so I did see Leo tonight. Yeah? Mm-hmm. He's like, kind of a huge asshole, isn't he? <laughs> Why do you think that? I don't know, I just think he's like, kind of a huge asshole. He said you guys had a lot of fun. <laughs> Probably because he like, doesn't know how to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, you guys, uh, I mean, never mind, whatever. <laughs> What? Uh, no, nah, it's weird. Come on, tell me. I won't, like, get offended. I, like, never get offended. Really? <laughs> uh, he said you were pretty good in bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Um, what, what did you think when he said that? Um, but, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, um, like, is that, is that like what you, what you expected? Yeah, I thought, I guess, yeah, I guess that made sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Riley! Riley! Hey, what's up? I think your sister needs you. She's like super wasted in the kitchen. I didn't know if I should call someone. No, your parents. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. That's okay. not the right thing to do. Is everything okay? 
going on? Oh, nothing. We were just like having a drink and talking for a sec. I'm gonna go talk to Valerie, okay? One sec. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Holy shit, Valerie. Hey, hey, Valerie, what's going on? Oh shit, oh my God. Hey, the car was 25. Pay me when you can. Hope Val's okay. Riley? What are you doing here? I told you I was sleeping over at Jenny's and I came home early because I wasn't feeling well. Stop lying. You wish what I told you don't you fool. Be out can wa me too chill up. Mom, can you not speak Chinese right now, please? Please. Why? It's just a little hard to process right now. Because you're hungover? Riley, can you please just tell us the truth? I'd like to be left out of this. Are you kidding? No. You arrive here unannounced, you have vomit all over you. I told you guys, I forgot to text you. I'm sorry, I'm just here to see that apartment. What apartment? What are you talking about? I'm moving here after graduation. Why? Why not? What are you going to do here? What am I going to do in New York? But why didn't you call us? It's not like you to just show up. None of this is making sense. Can someone please start telling me what is going on? Oh my God, I am an adult. I am allowed to come home whenever I want, right? Isn't that what you guys said to me? Riley. Don't want to lie. Lie! Oh my God. <sighs> Riley, what is going on with you? Put your doll. What do you mean? Gao Suwa. I can't believe I have to keep saying this. I'm here to see an apartment. But why would you want to move here? You don't really have any friends left. And I don't know, what about your friend Katie and all your other friends? I don't know, I guess I just want to change, okay? I don't know. Why don't we talk about this after graduation? Okay. What? Um, so that's sort of the other thing. Um, I think I might have to take a summer class. What? Why? Um, I don't know, I just think I do. Um, I, I just, I just didn't really have my shit together. Why do you keep saying that? What does that even mean? It means I messed up, and now to get my diploma, I need to take this class. And then you'll get it, and then you're done. How much? Um, it's four credits, so I guess however much that costs. Okay. I'll pay you back. I don't know, after I get a job or something, I'll, I'll be able to pay you back. Let's do a deal. Okay. You tell me what happened with Valerie last night, and it's fine. I'll cover the costs. I just need to know what's going on with her. What? That's what I need. You know it will help Valerie too. She's obviously going through something, her rebellious stage. Mom, you're not serious. Valerie is always lying to me. She's always sneaking out, and she thinks we're dumb. She thinks she can get away with it. I just need to know. I can't help her if I don't know what she's doing.
Okay. Last night. Are you kidding me? Drinking alcohol, partying all night. Why are you doing this? You, you, why should we do this kind of thing? You don't have to pay, Mom. You are grounded. I don't know for how long. Mom. Why? Why are you doing this? What did I do wrong as a mother? Riley. I'm disappointed. I can't even look at you. Riley, you let this happen? Uh, I can't believe you told on me. They wouldn't pay for my summer class if I didn't, okay? And summer I'm class taking away your class. cell phone. I am taking away your cell phone. You greedy bitch. Hey. Valerie. What? Riley, what's summer class? You, are, aren't you graduating next week? So Riley just gets away with everything. She did the same shit I did. No, I am taking away your credit card. Excuse me? Mom, you do not say that. I don't know why you think you deserve that after what you did. You should be glad that's all. You're a terrible sister. I hate you. You don't hate me. Yes, I do. You're a bitch with no sense of loyalty and honestly, no sense of self. Excuse me? Riley, stop you. it! What the hell's the matter with you? She's crazy! She's crazy! She's going out of her mind! You are insane! No wonder David left you! What? What did you just say to me? Riley, calm down! Okay, okay, calm, calm, calm down. Just take some deep breaths. Get her a glass of water. No, use the Brita. Doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I don't know why you'd bring up David, Valerie, because you know how much he hurt me. We were together for three years, and then all of a sudden he just stopped, like, loving me. I don't know how that even happens. How does someone just stop loving you? And now they just feel ugly all the time. And I feel like no boy even like wants to date me. And I don't know what to do anymore. I just don't know. I just know this. This can't be the rest of my life. It can't be. I just keep searching in the dark, like for some kind of like light or something to click and tell me like that everything's gonna be okay and tell me what kind of person I'm supposed to be. And it just never happens. <laughs> Riley, try to calm down, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at Valerie, okay? I should have stopped her. She's just a dumb kid. And I should have stopped her. I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I'm just being so stupid, Valerie. I'm sorry. I'm just being so stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Oh. Group hug. Okay, okay, okay. Group hug, what? Valerie. Come, let's do a group hug. Come on, come on, group hug. <laughs> Made you these noodles. They're really good. Cool. You lost sesame oil in them. <sighs> um, I just wanted to come say bye. Cause I'm going back to New York in a sec. Uh, I thought you were touring an apartment here. Nah, I'm not. I was like so weird of me. Okay. Yeah. I actually have a meeting with the professor later because I failed her class. That sucks. Yeah. But I deserved it. Stop throwing yourself a pity party. 
how long are you going to be this sad for? I don't know. Because I'd be bored of it by now. <laughs> yeah. I think I've been bored of it for a while. Are you still mad at me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll leave you to it. Bye bye. Bye. Text me. Oh, wait. Fuck you. <laughs> Riley! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Bye, bye. Bye. Riley! <laughs> sorry. All right, I'm going. Bye. global warming is just like a temporary thing. Like the Earth, when it reaches its breaking point, is going to reverse its charge, like a battery, and then destroy everything, and then the world resets like to its factory settings. Okay, but it's not instantaneous, you know? Like, it takes a while, so we're definitely still gonna have to deal with global warming and like the ozone being fucked up and there being no polar bears. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying it doesn't matter because the Earth, like, knows what to do. And so it's going to happen way after we die, but it's going to happen. Okay, but that's, like, a really irresponsible way to think about your role as a conscious human being. But it's, uh, like, it's just what the science is. Where did you even read that? <laughs> I read it in an article. What? I think I saw that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you guys, you can't believe everything you read in some article anyway. Yeah, but you can't just like live your life like the world's going to end. Oh, holy shit, you need to stop scaring me, seriously. That felt good though, right? Um, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Can I kiss you? I don't think that's such a good idea right now. Yeah, okay. I feel that. Hey. Hey. 
Don't. My dad's gonna kill you. No, he said I could finish it. We were working on it this morning together. Okay. Put on the line in quotes, starting with A. It's six, it's, uh, six letters, yeah. It's in quotes, yeah. Air dry. Yes, I think that's it. Okay, do you want to finish it with me? I feel like I'm so stuck on a few of these. Mm, I can't. I have to go. Oh, my God. Good luck. I'm going to be such a good artist assistant. You're going to be such a good artist assistant. Ooh. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Bye, weirdo. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, this is Professor Hung's class, right? Yeah, it is. Cool. What's your name? Oh, hey, I'm Riley. I'm Charlie. Oh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So why are you taking this class? Um, because I, I failed it last semester, so I have to retake it to graduate. Oh my god, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm like, very excited to be here. Are you like a senior? Or would you have been a senior? Uh, like, I walked at graduation, so now this is like, this is like the last step. And oh then I, I'm, a, I'm a real person, then I'm an adult. Damn, yeah. that's so bad. <laughs> that's really scary. Hey, you're only the Thank you.